we are doing this for the second time I suppose let me see how far I got the first time so we get an idea <coughs> about the first time uh, whoop it appears it's oh it's this thing here is it followed but when oh for, uh, we came all the way the to colors. the watches look i'm going to demonstrate you watches it's about you four bucks all the people that yeah, i met then you there. talk and talk talk it's like actually this. a replica copy of the seiko you talk and uh, the only thing that happens is you're gone of the teacher that's all there is um have i eventually cost something that uh, it would stop did I place something or something like this? I'm throwing pieces right now all over the board. No, actually I did some insane stuff right now. I I really didn't. I don't think I even have a hot key is here selected so that uh, A cursor was moving by itself right now that's why I said but when I said on the background it stopped you see this here I don't have any kind of hotkeys selected so what you have seen right now i was not the one who stopped the video but i am connected to the internet i was connected to the internet i was connected to the internet that's what i was connected to and i already have explained that this is the stuff that's used oftentimes to just interrupt me to cut in between stop me from recording the video and it's annoying it is in this case here it, it costed uh, right now how much time it costed me five minutes six minutes is here you can see it okay six minutes very nice plus we're gonna see here this is three minutes all right so that's nine minutes i am gonna unplug internet at this point in time enough of this bullshit i'm gonna pay close attention to what the fuck i'm doing so i'm not gonna be spending the whole night here it was worse already it did go to hour two and it stopped here this is shit I'm gonna be talking to you about uh, I could actually play you that other recording but instead we're gonna do it over in this video that's what I'm gonna be talking to you about I'm gonna be talking to you a little bit about this kind of stuff basically the orders from China of which uh, many never ever arrived were stolen by the Slovenian police or did arrive uh, damaged and so on and so forth that's the stuff we're gonna be talking about in this particular video so we're gonna start here later on I'm gonna give you a recap so that you get an idea and this is just one of the accounts i have other accounts and uh i'm gonna do that stuff some other time i can't do everything at once basically what can i say this shit here i'm a funny guy funny because whew. i walk like this 
with about always oh, six kilos something like this on my back the other day i had it to brezice and i probably had i don't know maybe even 12 kilos with me i carried water and stuff and uh, sure it was fun that was just a 45 50 kilometers something like this 55 kilometer i have made that day uh actually that day and the next day before actually before it was more because i had to walk from the city back then and so on it was quite a decent walk with about maybe 10 kilos all the time with me thanks god i took clothing with me an extra uh, pair of sneakers running shoes because it was a cold night uh and even so I didn't know if I'm gonna make it back to Novo Mesto. Um, saying this because I can recall MK Ultra staff members that would head to routes like this, and uh, it would be five kilos that they couldn't handle with them. And I'm gonna be in December, I'm gonna be 51, and uh, and uh, with the cancer and so on, and. Uh, I made it for one thing. I would prefer to have a stuff with me that would actually help me along the way and I could do wonders. I could I could I could really if I if I would take the stuff, you know, they were taking with them like three kilos of stuff like tents. They had a tent with them, they had a whatever you use for the ground that you put on the ground so that then you lay and so you are warm, so you don't lay down on a on a ground like I did. I laid on a ground. And luckily I had some clothing with me and those tiny shoes and so on, so that I helped myself protect myself at least a little bit. If there was no sleep, whatever, but they had equipment, camping equipment with them. I had absolutely nothing. So what I'm saying is this shit has got to go with me because there is no way to secure this stuff inside of this room. Locksmith, locksmith, when it comes to police, when it comes to the stuff like this here that you see, this, First of all, what happens is if you happen to order the locks like I did from China through AliExpress, through the eBay, first thing, if you are in my situation, you should know, is that you are throwing your money away. In my case, a police director had police investigator meeting in the mornings usually once per week or twice per week a postal chef director or whatever a postal office would keep items aside items on my name and would upon meeting with a police investigator who would come to visit one in private demonstrate on all the items of which he would take note in addition to whatever was done with the items in Ljubljana this was also the procedure that police Novo Mesto police have literally demonstrated me they told me don't even fucking bother okay so before you're going to install that lock like I did in my case police already had the key from these doors it was like this since 1995 this is a 28 years of this shit if you want to go and buy keys like this at the local store it's going to cost you about 40 bucks it's going to be about maybe even eight times more than what you see price was right there and it's going to be just as well thrown money in a trash bin because for the stores they told me they're going to seek the receipt on every zip there is a number of items sold before you know they have a lock 
from your doors. This is what the police alone demonstrated me, told me. And if somehow you would get locked anyhow, it's a locksmith that comes in and out of your room. You forget the key here and there. It's only a camera. It's only a shot with a camera that takes place or it's a locksmith. And that also was the case. This place, this shithole here of mine, always was impossible to secure. It's a money on locks and stuff like this, simply thrown in a trash bin. They encouraged to buy all kinds of shit from the internet, but a reasonable, healthy mind, unfortunately, I bugged myself with that shit too much, would tell you that you shouldn't do this. I experienced a severe devastation vandalizing trespassing into my room that's how it always ended destroying me numerous items of which some I'm gonna go over in last minutes of this video I'm gonna start with this here here this is a bunch of washes as you see this kind of nice beautiful washes this kind of stuff did you see this is this is this is actually a copy of Seiko and I was told this is this is a shit watch by uh, shit quality the items from China are shit quality no fucking good by the people who claimed by the local police brainwashed me on that kind of stuff it's a shitty quality they cheat eBay they cheat Aliexpress they cheat they fucking cheat, they cheat, they lie, they blah, 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 blah. And big surprise, reveal themselves as communists, reveal themselves as a part of the communism since 1995, local police here in Novo Mesto, previously local police of Yugoslavia, greater Serbian Chetnik state, and Chinese hugged them like brothers. Chinese Communist Party was not interested in personality, was not interested in good trades in me they were interested in one thing communist party members communist party supporters even if completely fake fucked up had as much with the communism as i don't know penguins or something like this on the north pole or something like this it really doesn't matter i'm not impressed with the chinese communist party anyways uh, but here's my story I don't want to waste my time fuck this it's got eight pieces I, I think I ordered like eight pieces they didn't last me at fucking day two something like this they came fucked up Maybe I ordered more than eight pieces. I don't know how many I ordered, but they were really beautiful watches. At that time, I still had money, too. I was the most relaxed guy you possibly can see. Funny. It's the whole this village here in Kirka. They had this kind of watches. Funny. Under MK Ochoa, they boast about this shit. I am paying attention to this stuff. I ordered. I couldn't believe this. This, this is actually possible that somebody could do to the human being stuff like this so I ordered eight pieces like this maybe four something like this for my father four point four five for myself four maybe for myself maybe four for my father more watches I don't know these are the watches in a price range of uh, four five dollars I was used to buy a watch in my life with my ex-wife we had a store in Miami downtown in Florida I I would go when I would go buy watches I didn't I didn't even care for myself to have a watch whatever I would go buy the fucking thousand two thousand three thousand dollar in watches and sell them basically from the store to the customers and go and buy more and stuff like this because it was a business 
with so many watches, I didn't give a fuck about watches. I would go and replace batteries, fix things in watches, if it was something necessary to the people, whatever, or would take someone that was uh, repairing the stuff and would do it for me, basically service the watches or whatever. Uh, I never really bothered with that stuff. To me, for me, it was just uh, a custom orders from the customers. Hey, Bob, that was my name. Get get me this or get me that or whatever. And I was like, sure, you know, give me model, whatever. And I'll, you know, in that, in that, you know, in that sense, I never really bothered with the fucking watches. I never was really obsessed with this shit. I never care about this stuff. But I started to care. I simply started to care because every fucking watch I purchased upon my return to Slovenia everything ended up fucked up everything was falling apart everything was destroyed everything every fucking watch was simply was destroyed and so like it or not I started to worry about this was just this model this was just one order but I had other watches before um, that they have fallen apart. Some are here, some are not. The bizarre thing about this watch is, in my case, here in Slovenia, the truth is that you know, this is actually ironical stuff too. This is the watch that I fuck it up. This is the watch that I fuck it up, this one. I, I tell the way it is. This is actually, this is the ironic thing. This is Casio. Nice uh, Casio watch. And I was the one who fuck it up because I went swimming. The water went inside and then I just, I really didn't care because I had money. For me, watch, if it didn't cost at least 30 bucks, was not even a watch basically because it's just normal that you pay I don't know man $50 for the watch is just a uh, no money really if that's the way it was in my case I, I was just used to a normal life basically whatever was normal whatever was, was normal for me was not normal for somebody in the Poland it was not normal for the people in China it was not people it was not normal for the people in Africa it was not normal for the people in South America it was not normal for many people in many Asian countries but for me if I didn't have a watch like a Casio or a Seiko or um, citizen or something like this it, it was not normal I didn't care much about Bulova and Omega and all that shit I didn't care about any of that stuff but I had standard I wanted a watch with, that was with a precision that was also appealing basically what you would say good watch or whatever because things tremendously change over the course of the time when I was a kid Seiko Automatic for instance was like a like the look standard like something here in Slovenia and Yugoslavia this is like something like for like I'm gonna say like really 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 wealthy people Seiko Automatic that was like wow man Citizen that was like wow but the truth is that these are really awesome brands this is really this always, in my opinion, were brands that set standard in the world of watches. Unless you had more money for watches from the Switzerland. People also bought a lot of watches here from Switzerland, like Swiss Army and that kind of stuff. But the thing about it is that if you had like Japanese watch, authentic Japanese watch, you were already, wow, Casio, this is already kids had. You know, when I when I came out of high school, the kids had that kind of stuff. You know, 
they everybody had Casio. It was extremely popular here in Slovenia always. Um, the thing is that in, in Miami in the US, it was nothing that was not. Watches for ten thousand dollar, whatever, whatever you want, whatever, whatever the hell you want to spend money on, whatever the hell you want to throw the money away on. For me personally, I didn't see no difference between the watch that costs fifty bucks and the one that costs I don't know how much bucks. When it comes to the watches like this, like like cheaper brands, the truth is I couldn't find any in Miami as good looking as that, as this kind of stuff. These are actually copies of Seiko. This kind of watches here. Oh, I never bought a, never bought it in my life, not to wear at least Casio. Actually, I kind of realized that Casio maybe is better than Seiko because I was maybe too lazy to do this, and it was just easy for me with the battery basically to power the mechanism. Okay. A little bit on a humorous side. Seiko is a bow, Casio. But really, this is just as good looking as Seiko. And really, you don't have to worry about if you did move one or not. It still goes with this battery and uh, stops at holy never, basically. It stops when it's really time to throw one away if you don't want it anymore. I've seen people throwing watches away all the time, watches like this. Why? Because the glass is bruised, because you hit one, it's it doesn't look like new anymore, you know, and when it comes to watch, people always like new, you know, it's always, what's the best moment about the watch is the one when you open the case, right, and you see the watch, it's all new, ta da 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 right and then it's uh, already not new anymore and this is about watch never cared about watch really in Miami in the US I didn't even wear a watch if I wear a watch I had uh, like Casio or something that powered with the quartz with the battery and that was it whatever I never was crazy about watches I never cared about watches but in Slovenia I started to get insane about these watches I started to get insane because I, as I returned back from the United States, watches that I would purchase would just be fucked up. They would just simply, they would not work for too long. Actually for a day, two, three days. Oftentimes they wouldn't work at all. You open the fucking mail and the watch is not working at all. No matter what the fuck you do. Within 24, tw first 24 hours. Since 2006. Fucked up. Behind. Half an hour. Hour. The fuck you gonna do with a watch like this? The cost is four or five bucks. You're gonna take this to uh, a local repairman? He might charge you 20 bucks to repair the watch that costs uh, 20 bucks on eBay or AliExpress. What the fuck happened? This here, when I ordered uh, almost at once eight watches, Really beautiful, these copies of Seiko. What the fuck happened with this? New? They supposedly, supposedly they were new. The funny thing, however, was that some, and this was purchased pretty much at the same time. Some came with the cases like this. The same brand, others came with the cases like that. Obviously, these are different cases. Different time manufacturing, yeah. Same models, yeah. Same, same. Different colors, but same, yeah. Same thing. Eight pieces. Shit. I told my father, look, I look good. 
don't you want to get yourself something to some of this here? Father was bored, I was bored. We wanted some new pieces, something that looked different a little bit. And uh, we ordered some of this. But when you get eight watches fucked up, they should be new watches and uh, some of these watches went for two, three, four days, maybe the longest uh, that it lasts, the whole fucking thing, was maybe one month, but that was one month because I didn't power one, you understand? Because it was eight watches, right? So it's eight times two if you use for two days and then they no longer work. What do you get? 16 days? You get me what I'm saying? Within one month, I had no watch anymore I could possibly try on me. There was nothing else to try anymore. This was all fucked up. Father took this, actually, to local watchman to, to paint. He was really impressed with this stuff. He painted him uh, this uh, dials, but this washes were fucked up. <laughs> they didn't work. Under MK Ultra, as I stated, the whole village had this type of watch. Don't expect from me I'm going to be talking about the stuff like this in front of the camera. I'm not fucking going in any MK Ultra. You want to say comfort zone? No, that's just plain normal. You want to get yourself in a crazy stuff that they threaten to you with, they're going to use to destroy you? Not a smart thing. But the door, the fucking door here? I was too relaxed. I was too laxed. I was way, way, way too laid back guy. That I would go and lock actually the door inside of the house, home of my parents. This is just something I never ever would have done. I consider this as inappropriate. My attitude was directed toward assisting my parents whenever necessary. God forbid something would happen to them during the night so that I would rush and help them or whatever. Never ever would I go and suspect dirty play. Uh, I was oriented, simply oriented toward ignoring the stuff from MK Ultra, giving no, absolutely no signs whatsoever that anything possibly could be wrong in my life, whatever. But uh, it just wouldn't give in, and the troubles mounted and mounted and mounted. There is a whole funeral graveyard, a little graveyard of the watches here. One watch, I really did fuck it up. That's really, really my work. So what happened with these watches here? What was wrong with these cheap Chinese watches? Nothing really. There's nothing wrong with these watches. Let me demonstrate you. As soon as the watches were fucked up under MK Ultra, now I'm gonna connect the internet back. And uh, basically what I'm gonna do is, we'll protect myself a little bit. I'm going to use this thing here. What we're going to do is we're going to do something like that because I don't want to get that surprise anymore. I don't want to start the video over again. Not even knowing that somebody actually did to me shit and start over and over and over. I don't want to do that. Okay, so we see right there is recording, so we can continue with this stuff. What exactly was wrong with this here? Nothing. Once they have stolen the watches from me, once they have either stolen them, as I reported, they would already come in the mail that didn't fit the description of the watches. Um, already they knew it would be already fucked up
Okay, I doubt that you would get this stuff here if you would enter anywhere else. I think this is deeply, 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 deeply modified to give this kind of results. Um, that's insane, actually. I don't have any kind of preferences like this. <laughs> okay. SE sixty eight. Hey, hey, hey. Mechanism SE sixty eight. Come on, man. This is crazy browser. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna use this here. That's actually a mechanism. That's that's a engine. That's a little mo motor that powers that watch that you have seen right there. That, that replica, the copy of Seiko that I demonstrated you. Under MK Ultra, I, I met people really, literally, people who designed like this. I don't even get this stuff, what this is all about. Okay, this is the watch I'm talking about, right? So, what was wrong with this stuff? Nothing is what was wrong with this stuff. Uh, it says here, oh, the cheapest watch in the world. Yes, nice tool. I recommend this. And I'm going to demonstrate you in case that watch ever breaks down to you. Because this Chinese watches, you know, they are not really. And for funny reason, Chinese government didn't resent this to Slovenian counterparts who portray themselves as communists. They're not bad quality at all, these Chinese-made watches. It's a freaking lie. This Soki watch mechanism is SE68. We call this a mechanism, but Chinese people like the name movement. Okay, so I am somehow not lucky, but the people in this kind of business do understand what I'm talking about here. So, well, yeah, you can go here. Let's go to the eBay, let's say. eBay somehow is not lucky these days. I'm not lucky with the DSL internet. The funny thing was that when they destroyed me, stole me, this watches I have purchased for myself or my father, and you're talking about eight watches, the same watches, some which ended up in a trash bin. The thing about all this stuff is that the fascinating part about all this is that, oh my goodness sake. We should get some price ability uh, from expensive to low, but this is here, this is okay. Is this here 280, 290 and so on and so forth, you see this? These are mechanisms that are actually inside of the watches. But the thing is, they're not so bad, these watches. These are not such a bad watches at all. Because Chinese, and I was inside of the Chinese factories, together with the Japanese people from Casio, from Seiko, all these people from Switzerland, with the people that count, with, the, with, with people that transit this assembly to China and work along together with the Chinese. They are the Chinese technology is actually quite impressive. It's really impressive. Um, because they got the technology from Japanese. Japanese gave them the technology that is unbelievable. No, this this watch technology, the stuff that I have seen on the MK Ultra, is just incredible, fascinating. It's a world. It's a fascinating world. 
they're fascinating they are truly truly fascinating people uh, and the same happened with the Swiss watches from the Switzerland and they formed a companies you know joint ventures some with the Swiss companies with the Swiss, Swiss uh, Switzerland movements one of the best in the world if not the best and the other group uh, Japanese probably the best if not the best whatever and you know Chinese were in the middle and they were providing the services for less and for the Japanese and for the Swiss and so watches dropped their cost enormously so the watch that you have seen me holding that Casio for instance I'm, I'm just giving you an example which engine like this 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 uh, mechanism broke down I am gonna actually replace that um, with uh, this mechanism here it's SE 23 and this mechanism was told is just as good as original Casio except that it's much much more affordable there is also you have to pay attention to this a lot of fake Japan made movement and so on and that kind of stuff which is really not a Japan but it's just com compatible compatible uh, is just the size that you can use and install in your watch it's all that kind of stuff but if you go to these forums where the watch people are and so on they'll tell you that it's actually quite impressive the quality of this it's very very often these replicas are very very often used to replace authentic uh, engines and work just as good as if original you understand me what i'm saying now this kind of sc23 movement it's actually see this stuff here I do not know it would be good if I would be able to demonstrate this stuff here no that's not it Here it is. For instance, you, know, you would take your uh, model of whatever you have inside of the watch. So this is the stuff I probably shouldn't be talking about, right? But this is very, very specific. And then according with this, you would get replacements if you don't get the original part, like ETA. I think that's a Switzerland uh, that is assembled in probably China I would say and so you get uh, what you can substitute you know you can substitute whatever uh, you see sorry I was wrong you see the original Casio is of the watch that I demonstrated is this one here M2115 and then a replica Chinese made just as good as original Casio is SL28 it's just that you're gonna run to less than two dollars to get the replica but if you want to run to original Casio engine it's gonna cost you more money maybe six bucks God knows how much yeah you understand me oftentimes too expensive for people to play with is what I'm trying to say yeah so what exactly if we go back to under MK Ultra sit here at this desk and I started to demonstrate this shit this kind of stuff you know oh you know um, you know N no 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 in front of the computer and on AliExpress or eBay 
showed me the mechanisms of the shit. I was like, hello, what the fuck? I was like, what What are you showing me this? What? What's going on here? Uh, and sit, they sit next to me. And he was like, they're not bad. They're cheap. Look, how much is this one? How much is that one? That's how they entertain you on the NKR truck. That's That was one occasion. American psychologists told me everything you have inside of the room, you can tell many, many, many bullshit what they have done to you. That's MK Ultra. That's how the fuck that works. Cheap to replace, cheap to replace, cheap to replace. Showing me this on the computer from eBay, from AliExpress. I'm like, really, why, why are you showing me this stuff for? I mean, you just give me a break. Why are you showing me this? And don't you want to replace this? Don't you want to replace? Don't you want your watch to work? But this watch is not fucking good. They don't work. They work like two, three days. And really, seriously, eight watches, each one four or five bucks, that's like 40, 30, 40 bucks. Do I want it to bother with that shit? No. So if somebody was to say, and what do you want to do, Sebastian, Bob, Bobby, what do you want to do? <laughs> Never buy the Chinese watch again. No, that was your answer too, right, guys? So what are you gonna do? Buy another this. This is Casio right there. The problem was not in a Chinese watch. <laughs> the problem was with what I have stated to you earlier, with police investigators meeting Postal, not workers, but bosses, and uh, arranging nothing other than theft, trespassing inside of the room, if it always was not a theft. It had other important factors. There's a whole graveyard of this watches here. Really, other watches, I didn't fuck them up. I really didn't. This is the one. And you have no idea how much I was reprimanded for doing that kind of stuff during MK Ultra. What they do is they agitate, they frustrate. At times I would get the whole piece that will be okay, that will work, everything will be fine. And have found one unattended afterwards, after day two, literally destroyed, vandalized, deliberately. So that I would acknowledge that leaving unattended, just as they have brainwashed me, that I have to with me all the fucking time, even when you go to the toilet, would not happen anymore. So that you will look strange, crazy, right? That's a pretty good description of the schizophrenic. Paranoid. Now, this is a shit I didn't want to look like, no matter what. But the destruction did not stop. And the destruction went on to a few thousand euros damage, literally. With brand new tires even replaced on a fucking car. My ending up almost, not in a ditch, but driving literally with a car into a precipice and so on. It didn't stop. It went on and it went on and it went into third gear. So they utilize different technologies to mentally disturb, destroy. Well, this was no fucking game. This was no joke. There was nothing funny about it. It wasn't only here. This one I brought from Poland somehow. In Poland, 
maybe I don't know maybe five washes was destroyed and some were destroyed in a really really colorful way whatever was nice was just uh, like in Belarus stolen in Belarus a nice $50 watch was stolen in a such a way that I have actually given a permission to the Russian to steal the watch from me for the memory and he said because I'm gonna help you out whatever something that some people actually objected to but I was so giving that I, I didn't even know what the fuck went on that I gave him the fucking watch Literally, during MK Ultra, this is how the watch, really expensive watch, was stolen in the Belarus. This is how they did in Belarus. This watch here was good. It really worked really, really well. For two weeks, I had peace. Purchased in Belarus as a substitution of the stolen watch. This one. And uh, it stopped working as soon as I got in the bed with a beautiful Belarusian girl. <laughs> and then it was all over for the watch and for me. It was cheap and the girl was definitely worth it. <laughs> okay, she had nothing to do with it. No, no, no. But here's the deal. There's a whole graveyard of this stuff here, some of which were thrown away. Some of which I still keep here. I wish I haven't thrown anything away. Because of this shit, I learned certain alternatives. Uh, even switch mechanisms and stuff like this, which I have never done before. But somehow, you gotta be with the watch. However, the crime never, ever, ever stopped. Never, 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 ever stopped. These are two watches that were not worn. These are the two watches I have purchased for my mother as a gift. One look at it, right? If you look at this one here, what it looks like. All these scratches, all this shit. It looks like somebody would be dragging this crap for a very, very, very long time, either in his pocket or would be, I don't know, maybe doing something like this with it or whatever the fuck. This has got to be 100 year old. Somebody have used some fucking Andre Ul mechanic or something like this in his garage or whatever. Who, by the way, also promised me that if you're ever going to buy the watch, he's going to be switching me this top surface with the watches. They introduced me if you're ever going to buy this watch, this is what's going to be. The only thing that this is what he's going to take. I think they took the batteries too. I think that's the, that was like a main the main thing when you can never ever purchase never ever used and in a little bit i'm going to go to this these are two watches never ever used i'm going to demonstrate to you my mother never used them because i was trying to set the time and everything and i did not know how to i couldn't connect them to the bluetooth i couldn't connect them to the laptop i didn't know how to what the fuck to do with it? Android, nothing I possibly could use to connect this shit. This was purchased on December the 16th. Maybe they programmed my Android, maybe the watch or not. Whatever the fuck it is, maybe both. They told me they're going to program Androids. They told me they're going to program watches. If I'm going to buy a smartwatch, I'm not going to be able to to connect one to uh, Android and fix, s do the setup on one. Never ever wear them, nor my mother ever did. Purchased in 2020, at the end of the 2020, right, in December. Both of them were purchased on December the 13th. No, the other one on December the 16th, never ever ever used, never ever probably will be used, because it appears that battery died in between, whatever. You get it? So that's that, that's how the money went, not single time on the hand. 
This is what neighbor Petrlin had a problem with this watch. This one here. This one I have purchased. Nothing really appears is working. The biggest problem of them all is. Uh, I was using this watch. The biggest problem, however, with this watch appears is the Bluetooth with which keep changing absolutely everything once you set the time everything is set on the watch as okay as this uh everything is changing on its own during the walk it's got a bluetooth and it appears just as i was told the case is going to be on that mto which is going to be remotely controlled we will be fucking you uh just in a little bit i'm going to go to this stuff do this recount for you to tell you this here does not give uh, three, uh, uh, what three, uh, what is it, three amperes. This is supposed to give, I think, three ampere, this thing. Uh, if you will buy the, or is it two ampere or whatever it is. These are quick chargers, both are quick chargers, whatever, 3.0. iPhone, tablet. Uh, I am just going to tell you like this this doesn't have this is not quick this is the slowest shit as anything possibly can be this shit here never ever worked to begin with i didn't plug one a single time um as a matter of fact it's actually right here well, let me let me have a quick look yeah there, 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 there is actually nothing here to say about this charger other than for me to uh, there's nothing actually you, you can see right away if, when it's used and it's not used when you see it's scratched like this all fucked up somebody already have used this andre Uhl was the one who was not happy with this apparently it didn't work to him it didn't work to him this is the kind of stuff that they were not happy with you can already bet that somebody else is going to get what you pay on the internet in Poland, they promised me they're just going to take the interior from these things and put something else inside, even parts and stuff like this. Take good stuff for themselves and pretty much that's how it went, it appears like. I didn't finish with the watches. And it's right now I'm going to go to something I'm going to repeat to you. This is way too important proof for me. There's going to be also, I'm going to publish this in a separate video. There's a letter here that says, Dear John, by the time you read this, I'll be gone. That was a movie. I was watching this, this uh, comedy, this, this Dear John, whatever. But this letter is different. This is the letter that's actually related to this, this thing here, that despite everything I kept around, an original box and everything, this, uh, this is related to camcorder, to Shiba Camilleo. It's like this. And in this letter actually, this is of course is brand new with a warranty, Nice, from Toshiba, very nice. I like the Toshiba. This is like this, on this, on this letter. It says like this, and it's not Dear Bob. It says like this, it's, I'm the one who signs this underneath. Because this is my letter. It's my letter to a service people from Toshiba here in Slovenia. Whom I have asked to please repair my camcorder was quite expensive, I don't know how much. 80, 85, 90 euros. I think 90 euros, I think it was. And I'm saying, my camera doesn't turn on itself. Camilleo, from the beginning, two days ago when I got one, it worked. And then it started to progressively give in, die away. It was necessary to take the battery out 
and ins reinsert one, insert one back into camera. Progressively, however, Dafo quit too. On the page of Toshiba, concerning a troubleshooting, it states it's important to take the battery out, wait 30 seconds, and place the battery back. And so on and so forth. I'm all fucked up, all frustrated. This is not $4 watch. Toshiba is still right, okay? Hello? Can you please help me? Can you please repair my uh, camera? Or I want my money back. I am pissed off at that point in time because everything in my hands whatever comes in my in my hands is just turning into a fucking dust man but it's turning into a fucking dust way too fast you said second day Bob second day man you sure to Shiba second day already yeah second day indeed a second day here is the letter here is the payment actually I'm gonna be able to demonstrate you how much I paid for it oh it was actually way less I got it for 73 bucks and that was like a record low cost that I paid because this easily would go for 9500 euros and more very very good cost I got it I bought this here is the bill and you can see the date and time clearly it was on September the 12th of 2013 uh-huh that was the year they came to pick me up and throw me inside of the psychiatric hospital September the 12th 2013 purchased and you can see here six days after you can see right here that the service people from Toshiba in Slovenia sent me a letter back they gave me they issued a support ticket to me and uh, it's a written letter here all the documents that I send them that I asked them to please repair and so on and so forth uh, they're right here it's actually here here uh, so I don't have to show you that letter but eventually this is the letter right here you can see it the letter that I just uh, have spoken to you about All frustrated, all frustrated. I don't know what the fuck to do. But within the six days already, the friends from Toshiba already contact me, which is really, really impressive. From the six day I got, I, I paid for right. So then it was delivered to me. So it was two days in my possession when I already took one to the postal office or whatever the hell I did to send this to the service of Toshiba. I didn't have a camera for two days in my hands so this is dated on the 19 the same month on the 19 I purchased one on on the 13 I pay for over the internet and I got one September October November so this is this is I am completely mistaken here wait a minute now this is like two months later actually this is not okay here this came later on whatever the case was anyhow I can assure you that this camera went into a service in a record short time it's not six days actually but this I couldn't take it anymore um, seems like I did keep one for some time for a few days at least I was trying to get by with troubleshooting already since the second day 
that started on this camera on what it died I don't think I have had this camera in my possession more than a week two weeks maximum and it did go to the service so that's all I'm gonna say that's de facto well do you know what happened the next thing once the camera arrived to the service I find myself inside of the service it was a Slovenian guy a really Slovenian guy this must be from Gorenska I think he was not the boss at that time yet or it could have been that that was a son-in-law or whatever the whatever the case was uh, it was the service and uh, he was very 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 unhappy because right next to us it was a police investigator the fuck I deserve now to be drugged up brought into the to Shiba service and have a guy who was repairing my camera in front of me asking me to please please doesn't want to see me like this anymore in his shop and um well repair this camera to best of his abilities eventually i don't know what the hell they did with the camera repair or replace it doesn't matter to me anymore right now but i think it was replaced the camera or whatever the hell was the shit. i don't know please please did he replace i think the camera i think the camera was replaced actually with another model at least lock my possessions because if not and it was really nice to me because the guy was actually crying for help <laughs> his talk to me was actually cried for help it was so touchy because it was a nice guy that i paid so much attention to it under mk ultra that i said to myself because I promised him even something that I knew I'm not going to be able to keep I cannot there is no way to lock to do anything about this stuff here um, and I was not willing to walk around with a backpack like this <laughs> in my life are you kidding me in the United States of America I didn't carry the fucking wallet with me okay I was so lax back that I would have a driver license in my in my back back pocket. I didn't give a shit about are you crazy this kind of stuff. There is no way you could possibly get me into that kind of mode. It's it's impossible. Never, never had, never didn't walk with a wallet. I had a cash in my pants, driver license documents in my pants, which is actually not kind of really not nice. But this is the way I was. Whatever I would do, I would come throw the cash on the table, purchase whatever, and disappear. That was it. This is the way I was. Simple. I gave the promise to the guy that yeah 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 I was like yeah 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 please please he was like please don't please lock your things and so on and so forth and I was like yeah because I'm also not going to be able to replace this and if you will not you're going to give me a hard time and I'm going to have to do this and that and blah 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 the guy was so fucking nice eventually the camera he got me a replacement with never had this uh, TV HD or what is it HD TV whatever work 
Um, it was the same shit like with uh, this. The same thing happened. Mechanisms. You remember when I told you about the chip mechanisms, uh, movements to the watch? Found myself again in front of a computer. Just have a people around me tell me that this isn't worth it to to, to repair. Um, it would cost too much. It's cheaper actually to buy another Toshiba Camille from the internet. Man, 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 man. Sure, they fuck me up immediately, make things impossible because they were afraid I would use this, in other words, power this, connect this somewhere that would have battery constantly powering itself and video record something that they wouldn't want. They take precautions like this with the telephones, with everything. Anything that had that kind of ability, they fuck it up. Anything that had a camera, they destroy it immediately. Make sure that you would not have a capacity to ongoingly record, video record, if you were to set somehow something, some kind of detail, something. That's how that shit went. But the guy told me, if you ever tell me, if you tell about me, what you do is he sent me what, I, what I'm going to do to you, however he said, and it's something I shouldn't do. I will include the original letter that you sent to me. This is the original letter. Because it's the letter you have seen it. It's here. So you can believe me. That's actually original, original, original letter right here in my hands. It's the letter that came back to me. After I send one with the mail is the letter that arrived back to me that's what he said i'm going to include this inside of the package so when you receive the package it's going to be inside and when i did open this package that came to me it was this inside it was the letter inside the package was funny at the time because this package actually belonged to I think old Toshiba, but it was with a letter inside and supposedly the camera inside was from new Toshiba. It was a new Toshiba replacement. That's all the fuck I know. It was nice already they repaired me, but what really went on, the only thing I can tell you, the letter that I sent to these people is here and the letter matches that email right there. Which, if I go back to the letter here, They give me some instructions here on how I could do something, whatever it is. And this was my original message. Uh-huh. Okay. So now I get it. So this was a really, really nice guy from Toshiba. Eh? Very, very nice man from Toshiba. Okay, very, very nice guy from Toshiba. Obviously, that my account of what I have given you right now, and uh, what I was brainwashed with under MK Ultra by this individual alone who was repairing this stuff at this store, completely, completely, completely deferred. The two things completely, completely differ. Obviously, this here is an original message. You see this? View entire message. Message is sent. 
and the only thing that happened was the police which was inside of my room and brought me to his place instructed one to interpretate me the story as what I stated to you that when he shipped to me back this thing here uh, the camera it was this letter that was included inside of the uh, this is this is what this is now nah? it was the letter that was included inside of the that he included the letter which I mailed to them the thing is that uh, I don't even know today how the camera went to to these people I think that they actually issued me a ticket or something like this and that it was somebody who came to pick it up and um, it could be that I actually did scan this stuff and send this to them in the mail because it says here uh, it says here right here in the mail it says message clip attachments uh, scanned by Gmail whatever uh, you see the view entire view entire message it appears that I was the one who already attached that letter that I had scanned one at home uh, I scanned uh, basically uh, a, a bill from the camera I, I scanned everything and then what I did was I mailed this to I mailed this to this Toshiba service center so they could probably send me the way to mm -hmm. so this was more actually Skupnis Nasik 80 euros I don't understand eh? yeah I don't know was it uh, let me see that okay it was 73 euros okay a little bit more I got a discount 8 euros this is actually 100 euros or something like that 95 euros yeah and it was discount uh, it came all the way down to 73 euros okay I was actually right this camera was 95 bucks but it was discounted and so the whole thing came to 73 euros 73.40 something euros so the thing is that I don't think that when the man came when they issued me a ticket and when they came to pick up the product in order to repair in order to either replace or repair one that I did include this letter inside I don't think so I definitely however did scan this so it appears that this man was a son of a bitch it appears that this guy was not really a nice guy it actually appears that this individual did something very very filthy on behalf of the psychiatrists not only police because this was the year when they hospitalized me labeled me as a paranoid schizophrenic so that the story like this he wanted from me that I would go and state on internet exactly what I stated to you that he was actually so nice this that he sent me back uh, the letter and that I can actually show this as a proof that's what he wanted me to state he wanted me to state that inside of the box when you're going to open the box at home when it's going to come to you is going to be your letter inside now the thing is that even if there was a letter and if I would go and claim this as a proof I would get fucked because this letter already was scanned you see and that's something undoubtedly he got in his hands it's not that he would know that this already was scanned but the son of a bitch knew about this document already was scanned and was truly acting on behalf of police on behalf of psychiatrists who wanted at all costs something to screw me up to label me as is a paranoid schizophrenic because they did not allow they didn't have the reason 
a factual physical reason that they could use to prove that I am suffering from mental illness of any kind they wouldn't even allow opinion from the second psychiatrist the tests which they have conducted on me demonstrated exactly the opposite the tests they demonstrated inside of the psychiatric hospital on hospitalization during the time when they claimed that I didn't know where the fuck I was who I was whatever demonstrated I was extremely intelligent and there was not a trace of paranoia schizophrenia of any kind despite all this I remained imprisoned hospitalized inside a psychiatric hospital so they wanted some kind of stuff like this so this is just a big minus for this fucking guy he became a boss over there and that's already alarming sign because people are doing the filthy stuff to get ahead and they got ahead in a very very filthy ways so here I have not proven anything other than a new Toshiba was already fucked up within two days when I got one I already had a problem and the thing is I'm, I don't even wonder why the fucking thing was really always was a trouble with it God knows if you ever find yourself in a situation like this no matter how the nice guy is if you paid the money and you have a warranty or whatever you have you better use it don't be stupid that's the stuff I paid too much attention to I'm not gonna be doing a second video on this shit I'm just gonna go to the to this stuff here and I'm gonna do the count of the items from beginning to the end on this account there was many more items that I purchased and that stuff I'm gonna do some next time the hard drive that you see here I never got one pouches I got they were good but destroyed exactly accordingly to uh, instructions the case is gonna be instructions from the neighbor from the Andre Ur still useful okay the zipper on this item did not work two days the zipper did not work two days no, no matter fuck you whatever you do and when it comes to this one here the interior of one the interior still not used still good as new never used the interior already was chopped the interior inside the pocket inside in the middle is already chopped that's gonna have to be fixed and there's also some other problems this is how it was done let's just continue with it this uh, swimming suit neoprene three millimeter neoprene suit was as thin as a, as a paper there was no neoprene on that suit i got one however uh, the battery uh, meter very good the mp3 player that you see mp4 player that you see here i never got one i got one eventually from the ebay the battery appears already was switched it's not listed here i'm gonna get to ebay and uh, it would only record a uh, few hours very very shitty recording too the neoprene real neoprene swimming socks very good stuff especially for my shoes because i have such a uh, thin shoes for the winter time you can wear the neoprene socks like this and keep warm they never arrived uh, diving cap the neoprene neoprene cap never arrived so these are all items stolen when you say this never arrived never arrived this is all this shit is all stolen this is all stolen this is all theft 
the watch I already have explained to you either is this watch or is the other one one I will not say I either canceled I it's canceled actually it says right there it's canceled that's right canceled uh, when it comes to the SD cards I was already very very detailed some according to the police instruction worked some did not there is actually some videos more I have in respect to this I'm just gonna skip a lot of this stuff simply stolen replaced with old used worn out cards fish invest did arrive mp3 player did arrived but did not have a recorder on one it appears or did not work or did not have recorder or whatever it is it's it was no time to actually think what the fuck was wrong with it but the money was flying away the dental cleaner did arrive the watch did not have HD camera uh, as I was told uh, the full HD camera no did not have no HD camera on one uh, the resolution of the camera is 240 by 240 and it appears that uh, this could be due to huh, either old uh, model uh, of the watch which was used to substitute the original item I have purchased because it was advertised as HD fully HD 1280 by 720 resolution camera on one um, or it also could be that the seller was lying whatever the case was it doesn't matter it makes no difference uh, this I have already covered these two watches this was okay it appears that this stuff was all good this is the mp3 player that my father was taking apart with a knife one morning when I came in the kitchen I found my father stabbing this uh, mp3 player with his pocket knife laughing uh, I, I, I don't actually know how to explain uh, this stuff did arrive it was all good uh, however they ensured that um, something else that I'm going to explain a little bit earlier in continuation uh, did arrived did arrived a tempered uh, glass uh, uh, is this a cover maybe uh, was uh, already separated and uh, sipped with a dust so when I did place a, a temper glass protection on uh, on the Android uh, it was filthy dirty uh, the Android have broken itself because don't forget they have knifed me with a knife just as they have promised me they will do who did the police from the Novo Mesto the pouch exactly according to what I was told the case is going to be that's exactly how the pouch all of a sudden wide opened itself the telephone flew out at Tershka Gore, the church of St. Mary's Nativity and broke right in front of me this is why I was using this this uh, screens here to repair the telephone and one is actually still in reserve one telephone fall me from hands it was my fault that broke the other telephone however broke in exactly condition as I have told you the way one had broken itself uh, so this here this was actually just a foil or whatever some kind of tempered glass that you put at top of the screen this is not screen this is just a protection for the screen and it was already separated from the foil and loaded with the dust so when I placed one on the phone and I didn't have money to buy another uh, it's 
exactly according to MK Ultra instructions, as I was told the case is going to be, you're always going to have a dusty, dirty, filthy screen. Yeah, because it's every penny they count in your pocket. This here is um, 640 gigabyte. Uh, it's a 640 gigabyte uh, Android. Uh, it's, it's actually a 10 inches you see tablet a 12 core cpu with 8800 milliampere battery in it it's 5g and so on and so forth uh, it came instead as an 8 inch as a 64 or something like this a gigabyte hard drive uh, so smaller uh, and also used based on what i have seen this android had a plastic which appears which appeared to me to be in the same condition as the watches I have demonstrated. They all scratched, all fucked up already. Like somebody was, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, actually, it's a fucking despicable stuff. Completely other Android uh, tablet, I should say. Smaller, uh, it's got, I don't know, 4 gigabyte RAM, not 16, and so on and so forth. I don't want to get into it with some shitty processor and stuff like this. For them, all normal. I think this was replaced actually in the service in Slovenia I think they have opened it before I got one and have substituted this with some other parts this thing this here I never tried I suppose it's okay but I got it um, this a keyboard uh, eventually never arrived the keyboard never arrived but it could be that this was a seller who did not send the keyboard I already have spoken about the two chargers the watch exactly according to the neighbor's instruction it was destroyed I think actually substituted or destroyed or whatever they were doing but they were taking this shit studying it on how to destroy using a local repair services watch repairman and when it comes to other electronic literally literally police officers going inside of the services inside of electronic services where they repair into repair shops or to the local watchman to ask uh, the frequent what the frequent uh, problem uh, about very very unusual problems that people would experience and they would bring items to the service and the servicemen would document this is actually repeating my repeating words from the police investigators from the police station now of how we will fuck you and then doing this kind of stuff to me basically this is how the police did this stuff never sent to me this uh, uh, tent never was sent to me uh, sent to me but uh, according to mk ultra instructions ripped damaged already before it got in my hands i have a new packed never used uh, and then here is of all this here that you see this is one two three for uh, of of this four uh, headphones that you see right there I have never received one not one of this I have received shoes uh, one pair only arrived very good I recommend watch never ever was sent by the chinese seller i got it at 360 just as chinese told me you will want this watch and we will not sell it to you and it was true i got it for 360 a record low price and then they would not sell it to me they want more money for it never sent to me the shoes the neoprene shoes i have no idea or stolen most likely 
uh, did never ever arrive. The funny thing about it is that the Chinese sellers will just give you the money back. They will not comment. Arrived, useless, arrived, useless, arrived, useless, arrived. Uh, arrived, useless, because this is what they brainwash me. I will need to protect myself from radiation. Um, they mislead it on a cancer and claimed that the sound, the pressure, those kind of issues that you're going to have, this is due to directed energy weapon attacks. You better get yourself the stuff you see here. And so it was tremendous amount of money spent on this kind of a uh, shield of electromagnetic radiation, which is completely useless stuff. Do not recommend that stuff. Uh, one glue came, the other one never, but I think it was cancelled by the seller. Arrived, more money thrown away. Um, I will record special video apart from this when it comes to SD cards, but that was a big theft. Arrived, no use of it. Arrived, no use of it, no use of it. Arrived, very good. Arrived, thanks God. Uh, arrived, but I'm not using really these heaters. It was a good idea, but I'm not using it. This thing here, I might even got one. Uh, it, If I did, it did work for about maybe a day or two, maybe. Um, arrived, okay, arrived, uh, I demonstrated to you as I opened the package was already all scratched, used all worn out item just as the police investigators, they have promised me the case is going to be, uh, it's going to be another one like this, the same thing happened with another one. arrived actually with a cut cable and I have demonstrated you when I opened the package the cable was cut chopped one was good I think the other one was bad arrived arrived and hidden just as police investigator told me if you're gonna buy a short cable it will go right under your table and you will not find one um, this stuff that you see right there has a metal tip. All the cables with a metal tip were deliberately damaged by the police before they would be even destroyed. Some of these cables they ended up in a trash. Uh, some I still have because some ended in the trash because I didn't know what the fuck went on. The cable I'm going to demonstrate to you now was actually deliberately, deliberately destroyed uh, so that as police officer investigator stated me, I would have a proof. Uh, destroyed definitely was. Uh, how much of the proof this gives me? Um, it's to me, this proof is to me worth shit. It's not worth anything because I'm not recording this videos anymore to get uh, attention from the people or anything like this. I am doing this stuff because I want to video record. I want to absolutely record everything. Everything for every F me is going to be still. Is gonna, I will follow up. And we'll post this stuff on the internet no matter what. Because I think it's valuable for me to just do that kind of stuff. That's why that's how. Um, shit, okay, I know where it is. got it okay let me demonstrate to you this is very very interesting case for every metallic metal uh, 
cable. Obviously this has a plastic one, this is plastic. You cannot detach this thing because this is plastic, this one. You cannot detach. It's all one piece. But for instance, the one I have demonstrated you is different. And it's exactly what the police officer told me. The case is going to be with everyone. We're going to fuck you these things up. Yes, they did. This shit does not get destroyed just like this. They have destroyed me quite a few cables like this. It wasn't one, two. I have more cables like this. For instance, this here is another one. Oh, interesting. Uh, strange. Because of our other cables, the same way. And I have also video recorded, I think, this stuff. If I did not, I got fucked because it appears somebody glued this back and it wasn't me. All the cables that were like metal and that you could separate this, this away, they all, they fucked me up all these cables. What's interesting about this one, what the police officer told me, he's going to fuck me up because it's like this, especially strong. And it's not supposed to fuck it up, it was fuck it up. You have to, it moves a little bit like this and it does not, and so on and so forth. Just as they promised me, it's going to be under MK Archer, the case. That's how they will do it. They start, it appears that that stuff was actually, this is another one. As I demonstrated to you, as I opened one, it was all used, all worn out, all scratched. Uh, as a matter of fact, one uh, was not sent to me. One of this, whatever, finished. Okay, so one, I got another one. <sighs> another one, I don't know. I think I actually canceled one. One I canceled, one I got. I got two of them, and two, despite being all scratched when I opened them, are in working order. So how ma what is this here? This is one, two, three, one. This here was exactly as I have demonstrated you, and it's exactly what the police investigator involved in MK Ultra have told me the case is going to be. It will have only about 35 to 30 percent of battery left inside of one. That's exactly what the case was. I already have demonstrated. Um, never ever arrived. I'm gonna stop here with this stuff and um, we'll just resort myself here to this um, account here from, from the eBay. This one was opened in 2014. I'm so sorry that I closed uh, the other account down, uh, but I closed one down because I was ready to fist fight with a sellers. Fist fight because everything, and it was what Angela Merkel told me that I fucked myself terribly when I closed this eBay account, original eBay account. And I didn't know what the fuck went on. Because I was under no circumstances what I go into what I'm doing right now. Everything I got was destroyed. And I got actually a waged war on the sellers from China, from America, from all over the place. I bitched everything because I didn't know anymore what the fuck went on. Everything was destroyed and I went ahead and closed the account. But let's look at this account, which I opened in 2014. I already have purchased some stuff with this account since 2014 on eBay. Oh, shit. Uh, and uh, for this year, what I can tell you is uh, very interesting. 
view it, purchase history, okay. Uh, the MP3 player recorder, which I demonstrated to you. Never arrived. Uh, this here Miyota 2115 repair movement watch with the battery quartz watch tool never ever arrived. Um, stolen by Slovenian police. The people they work with, whatever, 100%. Uh, I would just say like this. This is a real Miyota movement, this stuff that you see right there. This is not copy, this is a real Casio that you see right there. This is a repair movement watch from Japan, Miyota. Casio, in other words, is Miyota. It costs uh, Australian 4.74, that's about like three dollars, three and a half American dollars. It's a real cost. Uh, I'm saying this because if I would order the one for like much less money uh, they, one probably would arrive this was something I was promised actually the, according to original MK Ultra scenario was promised after I was demonstrated what I should buy and repair myself stuff I was demonstrated uh, told the first one you're gonna order you should yeah fuck you should order two I said, because why uh, a guy told me you should order two? Because I told him this is so cheap. So cheap it is. Really, so cheap it is on the MK Ultra. And uh, the guy said, yeah, yeah, it's so cheap. It's so cheap. Here we are talking about this stuff here. We are talking about... Well, a little Casio watch that I demonstrated you. Okay, we're talking about the Casio watch I demonstrated with you. Okay, so whatever I did with uh, whatever that thing is, I don't want to. This is engine. This is a little motor inside. It's right on the bottom here. I don't like throwing this stuff around. Okay. From this watch here, did you see from this little Casio? I don't know what this is like twenty dollar, fifteen, twenty bucks watch, but it's a watch I like it. Um, the thing about it is that if I repeat MK Ultra Brain Watch, because you know you remember all this shit. I told him if it's so cheap, so cheap for the Casio, because I never was doing this kind of stuff, and he said yeah, so cheap. Because if it's so cheap, I'm going to buy two of them. And uh, he said, what are, you, what are you going to do with the two? If it's so cheap, I'm going to have two of them. And uh, fuck it. And watch is going to run forever. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. He consented with other people. And then he said, he says, yeah, you're really going to have to buy two. I'm going to have to buy two? You're going to have to buy two. He said, you're going to have to buy two. Because the first one is not going to work. And I was like, what the fuck? So, according to the real original MK Ultra scenario, the first movement that would come to me would be stolen, replaced with something that would not work. Which I would order from eBay. And the second one I would order would be the one that would work. This is the way it was. Uh, actually, this item was stolen and never ever arrived. A lot of stuff was stolen. A lot of stuff never ever arrived. Um, and then these two recorders here ordered on July 29. July 29, both of them paid in for. Never ever arrived. Uh, both of these sellers, however, claimed me. Did send the items? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, very, very possibly these items also were stolen. Uh, it was a police director, Novo Mestre Anas Ogolin, who claimed I will never have this kind of recorders. And the one that arrived, uh, from three that I ordered, one was the one I got so far. There is some new orders I have made, 
but I don't want to talk about those. I'm just concerning about this stuff here. All through those orders already are extremely, extremely late. It appears uh, as much as those are listed already to be delivered, just as these pieces here. When I was last time at the postal office a few days ago, they told me they still did not arrive, which is very, very strange. And we are exactly repeating the scenario that you see here. Most likely stolen all by Slovenian police. Most likely stolen all by Slovenian police. These are just some items. Uh, the batteries that you see right there. <clears throat> five pieces whatever that is stolen I think never arrived this stuff here arrived but with an extremely low quality which I actually don't know what to think about and this here actually arrived uh, it was cheap and uh, I don't know anything I would complain about I don't know what to tell you so this is just some idea about how how the hell this stuff goes. Um, this item here was one of these items here, actually not here, but the one that I actually got uh, was not only switched, provenly I have pointed out that was not a new item. I documented that already at the postal office. Uh, I screwed myself even more so when I left one uh, inside a room upon arrival from postal office I left one inside of the room somebody did enter the inside of the room and did partial and left me with the item once I brought one at home partially opened up partially literally opened up when I did open it up it was a battery that was in fact uh, just as with police instructions just as uh, the police instructions were given to me and it's also something I was told the case is gonna be uh, with other batteries whatever it's gonna be you always gonna see he told me um, not exactly punctured but that it would be like if you would take with a nail and you would make like a line like a cut in it so that you're gonna say that the battery is shit is fucked up so that's how I let you know every time when you're gonna open the item and you're gonna see like this stuff like if you would go with a nail and you would do stuff you will know it was me that I did that shit to you so that you know that don't bother because the battery the battery is fucked up smart watches recorders mp3 players and stuff like this the police investigator told me this is the batteries we're gonna target the batteries it's gonna be the batteries always gonna be fucked up it's always the police that gets this hello how are you today fine thank you my name is such and such May I please ask you if there is anything that arrived for me? No, 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 nothing. Oh, ma'am, but it says that the item already arrived here a week ago, or two weeks ago, or three weeks ago, or a month ago. Mm -mm, we don't know anything about it. Then, if you're lucky, you get fucked up item. If you're not lucky, you never get to see one because the police that steals the item sorry this is how it goes one time i ordered i think like a five pocket knives beautiful knives for camping really really good stuff uh five i think i got really i wanted to have some reserve very nice camping knives cheap i got them for the like bottom low cost I think maybe with even with American flag or something like this. I'm not sure. Nice. Never got to see you any, but it was Andre Uli was a neighbor who demonstrated me. 
I know when I say they fucking steal them, they steal them. It's the items that do arrive to Slovenia, they end up in the hands of other people. Or are switched. Got a backpack, which they have not produced already for God knows, maybe 15 years or something. After I ordered one, I got some all chopped backpack from whoever was in Poland. Maybe actually a neighbor, maybe the guy from Lublin, I'm not sure. And that's what the fuck I got. You paid a new one and you told Andrem Kioch, I'm gonna fuck you. You're gonna see, you see this backpack? Remember this fucked up backpack. This is what you're gonna get, yeah? And then you go and you order through, on. this is the kind of game. This is the MKH game. That's all I wanna do for this video. Disappointed about this guy. Uh, this is just a guy that is about 185, 190 tall. Uh, Slovenian guy. At the time, I think was not a boss yet. It could be that he got married, maybe even. Maybe it's a son-in-law. I have no idea what it is, if it's a family business. That time he was not boss, but then he became boss. This was 2013. Then he actually became boss. They got more people employed. They expanded. So, crime pays. After all, this guy was not on my side. He claimed that if you tell that you were in my office, I think at the time when I didn't have a proofs, actual proofs about MK Ultra, did not identify people in MK Ultra, it would have just been a bad fucking mistake to go and make a statement that I was in his office and that uh, as a proof that he sent me this letter, especially when I made a copy scanned a paper and send one through mail that would really really fuck me evil plain fucking evil but what do you think what do you expect this is slovenia nice little update i have done with uh, a little bit give you an idea about how these things went on american told me whatever is inside of the room or whatever you grab whatever you grab there is so much stuff i have video recorded along the way that one time i'm gonna I don't know, do some 10, 20 hour movie or something like this about broken stuff more or something like this. But today is October the 25th, 2022. All I'm going to say, thank you very much for watching this video. Should I say uh, till next time? No. Let me fuck one of the police investigators before I go. Why not? Let's go and fuck one of the police investigators. How about the police investigator I met the other day at a police station? How about we fuck with this guy a little bit, huh? Sounds to me just great. Look. Let me demonstrate you something. I tell you what. This is actually something I have demonstrated earlier. Uh, video recorded already this stuff. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna like this uh, guys uh, this is uh, a Casio F91 uh, if you're familiarized with This is just a watch that is the most reliable watch. The Pope Francis had one, and it's also Osama bin Laden who had one like that too. Okay. Funny, because they were fucking me with Osama bin Laden, and then it was a Pope Francis who came to the rescue. These are idiots, man, idiots. This is just the cheapest and the most reliable watch. The, cheap it, the cheapest if you don't buy from Casio, but if you buy from the Chinese, it's also called F91. It's actually a replica copy that you can get for two euros fifty for two for less than three dollars. You can get one from China. Probably it's just as good because it's replica. I told you this Chinese technology is actually really good. 
it was just the idea behind, behind this is just this is just a sadistic shit you know basically you pay for the new one for the new watch what's wrong with it nothing nothing is wrong with it we are just demonstrating you when you buy cheaper movement cheap movement so that the watch is going to work so that you can repair the watch nothing is wrong with it you understand the concept nothing was wrong with it they just demonstrated me where I can go and buy a mechanism a movement so that I can repair what otherwise should be new watch what should be new watch not stolen not switched inside but what otherwise should be a new watch that's all how to repair it cheap new watch you understand the concept Uh, you got plenty of this stuff uh, on eBay, a little bit that you can go and you can get yourself a copies of this. I think these are actually the original, real original mechanisms of the Casio. Okay, so I'm just saying this, but I want to demonstrate you something else here. And uh, actually, I think I have a success here. Uh -huh. right all the watches here that you see that are cheap that are all low end all these watches here that you see the only thing that happened was in front of the computer and also in real time they were driving me crazy with which car, with which watch is good for you to buy, which watch is good for you to buy, which watch to buy, which watch you should buy, which is the good watch for you to buy, and uh, the only thing I'm gonna say to you, of all these watches, this was ex exactly exactly according to the instructions of the police director Yanis Ogulin, the police investigator of all the watches. He had to ask for the permission. Now listen to me good how fucked up this stuff is. I just want you to understand how fucked up this shit is. It's really, really fucked up. He had to ask for the permission, the police director, literally. Had to ask for the, for the permission for the police director to allow him to purchase the watch like you see right there. That's got a date and time because it was not in a price range that would offer one a safe gap basically that would offer one a safe this is the same mechanism basically and it's also from casio but it's a watch that costs 10 bucks that are actually much nicer better looking watches than the one you see right there that i was trying to demonstrate you and you can get for ten dollars with this one here maybe is one of them and i'm not even sure if this shit is 28 bucks you can get for like 10 bucks so don't bother with it They claim me, police investigator claim me that he, this is the right watch for you to buy. Four dollar, three dollar watches. This is the, this I have. Which one you like? What do you like? If you're going to buy this, it's going to become fucked up like this. You got this one, it's going to get fucked up that. Any cheap watches, God knows how much work they performed on me when it comes to the stuff like this. This is what my mother preferred as a watch and eventually counted. I'm going to get her as a present. She wanted exactly this one here. Uh, 
Uh, this here is actually the watch that police investigator fucked himself. No, he did not got any of those cheap watches. But he did have this watch, I think, for like 2-3 years or something like that. And for this watch, to get this watch, to wear this watch on a police duty, he actually had to obtain a special permission from the police director. I'm not fucking kidding with it. They, just like the case was with uh, Camilleo, let's say the Toshiba camera, they counted on my coming out with a statement that the police officers publicly wear a, a cheap, cheap watches like the one that I demonstrated you, um, or they work heavily on me with let me demonstrate you. Um, he had to get the permission for this watch. And this ch watch you can actually get for like less than 10 bucks. If you look, you can get this watch for less than $10. I think, yeah, it's a really good watch here. Because for the Casio, you're going to pay more than 50, I think. Probably easily more than 50. Uh, but what I'm saying is, they were trying to mislead me. The message here is, uh, they were misleading me on the issues. They wanted me to come with the claims that they are actually buying themselves a cheap watches. Uh, they demanded for me to go to the internet and make claims that they are using what uh, what they are doing to me and they demanded basically for me like they what they do to me, what police is doing to me and as a proof for me to make a wild claims such as the cheap watches that they wear you know that they wear watches for like less than five bucks and stuff like this and they were doing this kind of stuff by literally placing me in front of a computer, demonstrating me this, and uh, obtaining this watches, getting themselves this kind of watches. Getting this kind of watches and asking me which watch do I like, which one I don't like, what is it that I like, and what is it I don't like about the watch. threatening me what is it going to be when you get whatever watch you get basically it's the kind of stuff I'm talking about this is what went on with the police officers in the nature when we would go for a walk they would demonstrate me this low end cheap watches asking me if I like their watches uh, if I'm going to buy myself they would take you for a hiking on a trails 30 40 50 easily 60 kilometers to Sevnitsa and back um it was what they were doing during mk ultra and during this time they would drive you crazy take you from house to house to get that death threats uh, from people from business owners and that kind of stuff this was this was the practice of the novel Mesto police that is correct that's exactly how they were doing this kind of stuff and along the way they would be driving you crazy about the watches the watches and this fucking watches to get this shit going to, to roll this shit logically the stuff that you purchase also has to be destroyed to you so that you purchase more so they keep you on a low budget, they keep you tight, they keep you on thorns, some people that refer to MK Ultra. This was a hot MK Ultra item, which psychiatrist Peter Kapsch also heavily was involved. He was the one who demanded this kind of game to go on. This was a hot MK Ultra item. 
one of the last, however, that appeared and was presented, injected inside of the MK Ultra by Joe Biden. That is a good item for me. Americans started to play this paranoia bullshit along the Slovenian police. They work together. So during the during the walking back and forth at home during MK Ultra they would choose all the time asking about what do you like about this watch what do you don't like about that watch which one you will buy which one you should buy which one do you like what you don't like they want you to be very very opinionated they want you to make statements they want you to take sides in absolutely everything not only in the world of the politics they want you to take sides they want you to make wrong statements. They corner you. They make you make statements, insult you so that you would insult back and then build on that concept. Corner you with what you will purchase it and what you will not purchase and then make you threats. If you will purchase this, look what I got. That one is broken. This is broken. That one's got that one broken. The other one has got that one broken. This is basically the way this stuff functions. That's how it went on. This. This I have not even seen yet. AliExpress, uh, I never ever was even buying. They did not brainwash a lot on the eBay. They mostly brainwash on AliExpress because I never ever was buying on AliExpress. I never used Android until the year 2017 when I purchased one, 2016 I actually think, for the first time in my life due to trauma they caused to me. So they have uh, done a lot, a lot of work on me before I got Android in my hands. It was a lot, a lot, a lot of bullshit uh, about the Android before I even got one in my hands. Uh, the same thing they have done with the AliExpress before I even started to use the AliExpress. I started to use AliExpress very, very late in my life. I started to use AliExpress maybe in 2018 or something like this for the first time. And would not use AliExpress before that. I only would use eBay. So, when you start using something like AliExpress, it's huge. You know the whole fucking world new world is going to open to you right there's very few people that did not know about aliexpress or use aliexpress so that was the strength of this torture hiding inside of the stuff like there's something big that you are so traumatized that you don't want to use no matter what android telephone therefore uh, I was instead you were you were able to see I was instead buying myself a camcorder like Toshiba which has got not anywhere as near as good resolution as regular Android you know that's got HD I don't think it's got super HD I don't know it's a good camcorder but still Android has got a better resolution so when you see this kind of stuff on the MK Ultra and you're exposed to one yeah, but you don't buy one and they do do it. They're doing this shit already like for 10 years or more and With the Androids they started to use Androids before the Androids were actually on the market, Before they would release the Androids on the market Before they would release officially Androids on the market they were fucking around with the Androids That was one of the things they were using to get people on their side technology they had in their hands that was not even released officially yet testing products and so on that consumed a lot of bullshit from people that should never take bullshit people that should take side of the law and instead of that they started to wonder 
or rather than to report me as crying to the police and demand investigation into it, they started to wonder about the products they had, these people had along with them. You know, they, they, they catch the human eye and play with it and manipulate it uh, uh, money-wise, business-wise, technology-wise, and all kinds of shit, opportunities-wise, that would leave people completely harmless to what was evident as a crime. The watch that my mother did not want to have because of the colors. Another hot MK Ultra item right there, brainwash. Uh, there were plenty of items like this, another hot MK Ultra item. Another hot MK Ultra item. You must buy this one here, the green one, because the green one will at least take you for a walk to the nature, was what a good-hearted girl told me. The police officer, the one I met the other day, really didn't like the blue one that much. Maybe he was actually in orange or whatever he was, or black one or whatever it was, green one. Uh, this here would definitely get me in trouble by my going out and stating, well, the police officer where, as a proof of MK Ultra, they wear this kind of items. You would be fucked. If, you, if I would make a statement like this, if I would come up with a statements like this, I would be screwed up with a statements like this. Did they wear items like this? I would be fucked. And this is the stuff they were playing with under MK Ultra. If I would come out and make a statement like this, it would be wish come true for the psychiatrists who wanted to destroy me at all the costs. It would be the end for me. These are talking about just the LCD watches here. These are the watches I have demonstrated you earlier. You can get them for really less, for a little. But basically this is how it went on inside of this house, inside of this room. A room was rearranged in more or less exact setup I have now. When I purchased this table in 2017, I think, and I kept one downstairs in the room below, I even take one table found its way back to my room. Bed would disappear from the room and so on and so forth already before that since, I don't know, 2002 when I was in the United States of America they would make a completely set like a business wise set that uh, they totally have inspected on how the room should look and so on and so now you have a room that for which they know once you're going to return back to Slovenia you're going to arrange according to their taste now you have uh, and you have not and you have you have the website like AliExpress, you have the big issue like Android and so on. And so when you start using this kind of stuff and you recall these memories, it's very, 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 very unpleasant. On the other hand, you have psychiatrists pushing in you. On the other hand, you have the stuff, everything around you broken and so on. It's not a good stuff. What exactly were these low-end cheap watches mostly used for? They believed, and that's why I did never want to see this AliExpress, because it was all kinds of watches, funny watches and all kinds of watches. They wanted to convince me to buy myself uh, really bizarre looking watches that were none of my interests. Uh, they did not want this kind of lifestyle I had. They they not only it wasn't about the wallet in my pocket they wanted the backpack on my back at all the fucking time they wanted me to buy cheap 
strange, crazy looking watches to me at that in real life when I was buying myself uh, watches for the customers I used to sell uh, I would not consider under any circumstances you are observing right here watches for three bucks for four dollars you, you see what you are observing okay in my store in our store in Miami downtown there was not even one fucking watch single watch one watch that would cost less than uh, uh, in a wholesale less than eight dollars less than eight American dollars you understand the lowest brand of the watches I would actually sell in my watch in my store would be either Timex or let's say Indian Q and Q which owners which all this many of this company owners like of the Q and Q wholesalers in Britain where I shouldn't be even and so on I got to actually know personally meet them under MK Ultra and so on and so forth inside of the Rolex company factory meeting workers working behind the machines and eventually giving access to KGB to the Russian KGB to to the Udba people the enemy of the state if you like that survived since the times of Yugoslavia access literally to those facilities for the really really minimal reward and that is basically to cause a total devastation wreck of my personal items personal belongings in Slovenia that was a return I got that was given in return so I know that all this couldn't be only from the side of Eastern Europeans that was directed against me I know there was somebody else who sponsored this kind of crime from the other end from the opposite direction of Eastern Europe so I think I was good I think that I demonstrated good and that right there that's actually was tempting enough once item even for a police officer that he did compromise himself and eventually have purchased that item it's really really interesting he had to ask for the permission director of the police director of the police would not allow them to have watches according to the conversation that I participated that were worth less than 30 euros they would have to spend more money on it all through it was also noted I noted also some items in a Chinese store uh, if it's to believe God knows not too far from police station in the opposite side of Lidl that was an item also watch that one of the police officers also claimed had purchased for himself but that was actually here the neighbor of mine Method Yerman but the police officers the investigators they had agreement with the commander with the director of the police Janusz Ogulin to spend no less than 30 euros probably today you're talking about 40 50 euros on watches had to spend that kind of money once they started with the smart watches I understand they were only going for smart watches but that 
police officer that I told you, he did have this kind of watch for about two years. He wear that kind of watch for about two years. I remember that stuff too. He did. So what they would do is they would ask, they would get the information of which watch do you like in a low, low, low budget, three, four, five dollar budget. Which one would be acceptable because obviously you wouldn't like any of this. And they would fuck with your sanity. Which one you like more and what the damage is going to be on one and tra-la-la and tra-la-la and tra-la-la. This is how it went. That's how that was done. Chinese were evaluating me, literally manufacturers at the politicians, per manufacturers, because they had friends in, man in Chinese manufacturing businesses. Remember, these are the people that brought them connections and they brought them markets from overseas were also evaluating on which piece, what I like, what it appeals to me on a watch. And they were very thankful with words for feedback they got under MK Ultra from me. reasonably have accordingly also I was told priced the watches to the taste so they are doing this this here is also one of the hot MK Ultra items they had problem with for less than four dollars this kind of watch and so on and so forth and it looks sophisticated, it looks good, and you go and you make a statement that police officers wear this kind of watches, you're fucked. Simple as this. Yeah? A little update about police activities in my case. This watches, this stuff goes all the way back in time. Um, I was actually thinking I'm going to make a big deal with this stuff here with the Toshiba the way how with the Toshiba how the things went of my disappointment just to realize that they were actually trying to fuck me with it so I didn't make it through with it with this one with this video quite I gave you a taste a little bit about the drill about how they do this stuff how you this is about anxiety anxiety only anxiety is one thing but it's about the stress factor the stress factor is all the time present they all the time rock you with the issues like this it's not about the anxiety only anxiety is something else anxiety is something that I have not fallen for it's about the siren you're gonna have you hear you hear across the river there is ambulance vehicles there is uh, police vehicles there is security vehicles there is all kinds of fuck like you would be in a New York or something like this I told you about if somebody would be destroying to you everything and you know that it's the police doing this kind of stuff and the only thing that would be around you it would be silence whatever the fuck you would go uh you could really really lose your temper one time and do something really really stupid shit happens and uh, they aimed at this stuff i will not forget the day when uh, Bord Pahar, Milan Kuch and his associate became grateful to me it was sometimes in 2000 and 
2001, 2002, when they were inquiring about this sirens, that they're going to change the sirens in Slovenia and use this sirens to go like really, really low and really, really high. Actually, I don't know whether it's in Britain or wherever they use them to drive people nuts with this shit. It was, it's going to be a whole different and they promised me how they're going to fuck with me to unconscious with these sirens how they actually work what kind of effect psychologically they have on a human being and stuff like this and it's actually thanks to me they're going to give them and they loaded themselves with some mercedeses and stuff like this that otherwise would be inaccessible in a million years to them and so on and they are destroying decimating your life in front of you and thanking you for the goodies like this and promising you health with the goodies like this it's extremely unpleasant MK Ultra. you may have a cancer you may have a problem with whatever you have but trust me if you get into MK Ultra, chances are you're gonna get away with a whole more than cancer you're gonna you're gonna get away with more than what is forced unemployment the chances are that you're going to pick up the worst things you read in the media are the worst. The chances are you're going to end up like myself and getting all those on your back. It's how you're going to walk away from this. That's how my 28 years of life was spent on shit like this. That's MK Ultra. If you want to know what's MK Ultra, and somebody's going to tell me, as they told me under MK Ultra, when I told them this is a fucking abuse, torture, they told me, no, not necessary. They started to argue with me, no, not necessary. You fucking tell me, whoever the fuck you are, not necessary, that I fucking get you somewhere saying, not necessary. I'll come and fucking break your balls and spine and everything else. And you're gonna have your fucking not necessary. You understand? Just you fucking say to me somewhere, wherever the fuck you are in the world, that you like it. And you're gonna fucking get me in your fucking worst nightmare. I'm gonna come to visit you. I don't care what your, your experiences are. This shit, when it comes to MK Ultra, is just gonna be rated by the worst, not by what good experience somebody might have with MK Ultra. You understand? If you're doing this shit, you're doing it illegally. That's number one thing. And if it doesn't bother you, keep this shit to yourself. But if I ever fucking get you saying, seeing on the internet, any fucking place that's actually a good experience it's not necessarily bad this is i'm talking about fucking hollywood because hollywood is based on this shit they like to play with this stuff if i ever get you saying that this isn't bad i'll find you motherfucker and i'll make your life impossibly bad it's gonna be bad experience from that point on thanks for watching this video Today is October the 25th, 2022. Well, let's